is Jordan West. We're taking a live look now in downtown Jamaica. You can see we still have some lingering overcast skies out there. These are more so upper level clouds compared to the lower level clouds we had yesterday. In fact, we have dry air coming in underneath these clouds, so a dry day is in store. Temperatures right now sitting at 56 degrees, dew point 21, and we're going to be mostly cloudy across central Georgia all day today. Maybe a few peaks of sunshine, however, temperatures will still roll into the lower 60s before falling back down to the 40s once the sun starts to set. Here's a look at today's weather headlines. Cloudy but dry today. Steady rain tomorrow and then more rain early Saturday morning. The rest of the weekend should be mostly clear. I wouldn't necessarily cancel any weekend plans just yet. Temperatures across the board now in the mid 50s from 56 to Macon and 54 in Warner Robins, 55 in Montezuma, 51 degrees up there in Monticello. So we're warming up just lower than we were yesterday and the dew point temperatures are in the teens. So very dry outside. You will need the traffic only out the door. So go ahead and grab it. However, you won't need the rain jacket at least for today. And then we're looking at winds right now and a lot calmer compared to yesterday. Anywhere in the yellow that you see, we could be seeing gusts up to 20 miles per hour or more. However, this is a big difference compared to what we saw yesterday when we saw wind gusts 30, if not 40 miles per hour or more. The radar right now is clear. Like I said, you can leave the rain jacket at home today, zooming out, getting a bigger picture. The reason is this high pressure to our north. For starters, A, you can see the big cloud shield that this cold front has brought with us yesterday and is still moving off the eastern coast as we speak. However, this high pressure is bringing drier air underneath the clouds that we're seeing here in central Georgia, which is why we're not going to see that rain chance today. However, winds will continue to be breezy in the teens. This is now 8 p.m. As you can see, gusts still in the teens. Around 11 p.m., some models are picking up on some tiny, tiny sprinkles. So I did end up putting a 10% chance of rain for today. However, it's not likely and you'll likely be asleep by the time it happens. Now, tomorrow, big difference, right? So this is Friday, 3 a.m. We're already seeing a wave overnight, but by the time we get into 7 a.m., we see a break from that wave lingering rain and in between that break would be the time you want to get out and do your thing because we have a more widespread event moving in by the time we get into 11 a.m. Now, none of this will be severe. However, we are going to monitor it as always. Gusts will be upwards to 20 miles per hour. Rain will be possible throughout the entire afternoon, potentially even after 7 p.m. for our eastern counties before clearing out as we head into 11 p.m. Friday night. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Temperatures are getting into the upper 50s tomorrow, so we're not going to warm up all that much due to some cold air coming in from the northeast. And then as we head into next week, we're back in the mid to upper 70s.